Fantasy Football Nation, we are getting ever so close to the playoffs. Each move that you make is important from here on out. So it is time to get into a couple waiver wire ads for Week 12. Thanksgiving Day games got coming up some very crucial games that will determine a lot in both the playoff picture of the NFL and in your fantasy playoff picture. Uh, so it's important that you make the right moves. So I'm going to give you just a couple names that you want to consider picking up this week. Not going to be a long video, but I do want to give you a couple real quick. The first one is Tua Tungo by Loa. Of course, he did not have a good game this past week. He was benched in place of Ryan Fitzpatrick, but it does sound like he is going to be back as the starter this week. And we know that there is no better team you want to play after a bad game than the New York Jets. So I expect uh, Tua to have a pretty good game. Um, if you're in two QB leagues, I'd definitely consider him a start. Um, and then maybe if you were thin at the quarterback position, you Joe Burrow, I had him in several leagues. Um, of course, now that he's going to be out for the year, maybe you want to consider adding him as your new backup. Just something to consider. Uh, at the running back position, Wayne Gallman is a guy, of course, he had a bat, uh, he had a bye week. A lot of people dropped him, uh, but he is still going to be a nice play. This week going against Cincinnati, another really juicy matchup. He is a little bit touchdown dependent because he's not super efficient with his carries that he gets, but he is getting a decent workload, and considering the running back position so thin right now, you know, he's almost a virtual, he's a virtual must start really right now as either an RB2 or in an, an ideal situation in a flex. Uh, but I think he is a guy that you really do need to start. Um... In the wide receiver position, there are a couple guys you want to keep an eye on. Jalen Rager is one going against Seattle this week. Of course, we know how atrocious their defense has been. They give up more points to fantasy wide receivers than any team in the league. Um, and we're starting to see Jalen Rager get a little bit more involved. Philly doesn't have a legit number one option, and I believe Rager is becoming that. They're trying to get him more involved. They've had injuries at the tight end position. Alshon Jeffrey is not the player he once was. Um, J.J. Arcega Whiteside has been very up and down. Uh, so that, and really their top receiver has really been Travis Fulgham, and he's tapered off a little bit after his hot start. So really, Jalen Rager is the guy that could emerge as the number one wide receiver this week, and he has a lot of upside going against a porous Seattle defense. The other receiver that I think you should consider adding is Michael Pittman Jr. He had a nice game. He's starting to get more involved in that offense. Um, and he does have a couple enticing matchups coming down the line, of course, this week going against Tennessee. Uh, but we know how Phillip Rivers likes throwing to his big targets on either the outside or at the tight end position. Pittman is uh, the biggest receiver on their roster at 6'4", almost 230 pounds. Um, and he does have some speed as well, not elite speed, but good speed, uh, more than enough. Uh, so I think he's a really good red zone option if he can get you a touchdown. Um, I believe that's, I don't know if he's going to be, a touchdown dependent player or not but he's a guy that could bring some good depth to you especially if you just had some tough luck at the wide receiver position this year maybe you made some trades at the deadline trade away some of your depth well you can replace that with a guy like Michael Pittman who could be really good come playoff time with a couple more pretty good matchups that's going to do it all for today thank you so much for watching be sure to like share and subscribe and if you have any fancy questions or comments put them in the comment section and I will answer them on the next video thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time